The Great War through a London child's eye. May 5th, 1924. Today was father's funeral. In the end, he had had a peaceful death, not in the heat and noise of battle, but because of poor health. I imagine the war was responsible for that in a large measure. At the funeral, we met so many people who knew father, including his pals from the stockbroker's battalion. Did you know, Edward, we were one of the first volunteer pals battalions, made up of all sorts, wealthy bankers to humble clerks like your father and I. Pals together indeed. A tremendous service. I know your battalion was in France and Germany from the early days. Father was very proud of his work in the pursuit of the German army. I'm just so sorry that it took a toll on his health. He was a wonderful chap, so kind to the youngest men who were terrified. Like Private Stapleton? Yes, Sammy Staples. Talked about Private Stapleton, did he? Indeed, and we visited his grave. I believe Mr and Mrs Stapleton are here today. You see, our bonds are now forged for life. Mrs Hampton, you did war work at the General Post Office, did you not? I remember they had a fine regiment of their own. The Post Office rifles, indeed. No less than four Victoria Crosses. It's great to see so many fine memorials and plaques in post offices to commemorate those that fell. I've seen hundreds of memorials all over London for all sorts of PALS battalions. As well as at post offices, you see them gleaming in schools and offices and at railway stations and banks. There's even one at London Zoo. I think it's because people feel more deeply about those closest to them and feel those losses most keenly. That's certainly true of families. And workplaces can be like large families, I suppose. Funerals seem to be one of the few times when people come together, joined by the same loss. Although remembering can be upsetting, it can be comforting to know others feel the same and hold more memories of things and people we have lost. Sid knows what it's like to have lost his brother and father. I now felt I understood some of his pain. Mrs Hampton, Edward old pal, I'm sorry about your father. Thanks, Sid. He'll get his own grave here at St Gregory's. That'll be a comfort for you, I dare say. Yes. I'm sorry that you don't have, well, the same for your brother and father. Nah, I've come to treat the parish memorial something of a pal. I'll go and sit up there sometimes. It's peaceful and I feel proud as anything to see Dad and John's name on the plaque inside the church. Sid's lost much of his anger. He used to feel cheated that there wouldn't be a grave for his father in London. It seems that time can change how people feel about remembering. And Mother and I have nearly saved enough for a trip to France so we can visit John in the military graveyard there. Imagine me in La Belle Francaise. I'm pleased for you, Sid. After the service, Sid and I took a walk up to the park. It was good to clear my head. It was quiet and cool. We could hear the wind in the trees, not like back in the war when you'd have soldiers pounding up and down. Hey, Sid. Do you remember after the war those posters went up saying, never again? In a way, I suppose that's why it's important to remember what's happened and what's been lost, so we don't make the same mistakes again. Nah, they just meant never trust the German again. They weren't peaceful posters. Don't you remember all the riots, all the fuss about the war cemeteries? No one could agree on which way was up back then. Perhaps it was too soon. When we were in the middle of the horror of loss of so many men, we just didn't know what to think. It just takes time sometimes, I suppose time to think about what's really important. And if you ask me, that's the people we love. Couldn't agree more, Sid. And I reckon there must be as many different ways to remember as there are human beings. Come on, let's find a cup of tea. The Great War through a London child's eye. Supported by the National Lottery through the Heritage Lottery Fund. Read Edward's diary at funkidslive.com slash greatwar. Thank you.